Hello everyone, Val here, and uh, this is Diablo 3. This won't be a playthrough. Mostly because perhaps it doesn't work properly with this game, I might be... I might need to just buy DX Stories if I actually want to make a playthrough of this. Which I highly doubt that I make any kind of playthrough, because... Well... That... <laughs> and now I'm getting to the real point of this. I don't really like Diablo 3 that much. Yeah, really, I don't. It sounds a bit of a sacrilege, to be totally honest, if you don't like a Diablo game, Jesus Christ. Uh, Diablo 2. The uh, <laughs> hard motherfucker of a game. That I still have, I, I, I haven't finished it legit. I still... Uh, <laughs> I haven't finished it legit, because I used to cheat. I know! It's just... Ah, oh, fuck it. I haven't finished Diablo 2 and the expansion legit yet. But then I found... Then I saw Diablo 3 and hey, I just loaded it up and see what the fuck. And, uh... Yeah, like I said, I don't really like it. One. If you're playing as the monk, as I'm doing right now, the first two... Two, uh... What was now? Two to four hours, depending on... The on your playstyle. Yeah, two to four hours in the beginning from the beginning of the game are so freaking easy. Yeah. The monk is basically a very OP character for the beginning of the game. I'm not sure if that's the case with the other characters, but yeah, it just feels kinda OP, especially if you have if you're wielding two weapons. Right now I'm wielding two daggers. And, um, yeah. I'm guessing let's not talk about the characters that much. The, all the characters look pretty cool, okay? I'm very interested in trying all of them. But I ha still haven't managed to do that. But as it comes to the game... Diablo 3, it's pretty much what I expected it to be. It's a continuation of the story, the final chapter. Hopefully the final chapter, because, I mean, what the hell? And um, the way it's presented, it's pretty good, but uh, like I believe Total Biscuit said in his video, dungeons are basically just this one, basically very monotonous. It's just basically one thing over and over again. And uh, shit you not, I actually went with the first dungeon, which is below the cathedral. Right now I'm <laughs> raising my voice because I can barely hear myself because the. Uh, Background video is so loud. Okay, there we go. Now I can hear at least my own thinking. Yeah, like I said, the Cathedral Dungeon. The uh, first main boss, the first, they have, you know, boss, in quotes, the game, which, which actually is a pretty good boss battle. It's pretty hard, actually. But it was still pretty easy going through the dungeon, and. Uh, yeah, I was talking about the dungeon design, not the characters yet. Okay, back to the case of the dungeon design. As I was going to say, but I got derailed. The dungeons are very monotonous. They basically are the same bloody thing, and at least in the cathedral dungeon, when I was supposed to go and look around multiple crypts before that, there were actually a few blocks or places in the crypt that they kind of looked like they were just copy-pasted to the cathedral crypt, and then those did some recoloring on it. Yeah, it actually kind of looked like it. I actually saw that one bloody turn like two or four times, which I don't really have a problem with. But uh, I believe Diablo 2 had the thing that it's randomly generated map, basically. Yeah, randomly generated maps. Every single time it's kind of different. S but in this... I still haven't managed to start with the other characters, I'm not if sure that's the case, but it kind of looks like there is... Uh, kind of feels like there is no kind of randomization at all. Or if there is, I should really start, you know, thinking about patching that to a creator tree, including creating a very sick very an actual single player option that doesn't require connecting to the internet 
which is pretty annoying. You're always connected to the internet. One. I'm very paranoid when it comes to being connected to the internet all the time because, hey, yeah, I'm the fucking human version of a paranoid bloody parrot. But, uh, yeah, it kind of feels like a bad idea, including the uh, real money auction house, which is kind of, hey, we're gonna just give you this place where you can just sell off all the stuff, buy it for real money, and we just take a cut of it. And if, <laughs> I'm guessing many people are already doing it. You know, buying stuff from the auction house, which is itself kind of a <laughs> rather stupid idea. I never kind of understood the uh, says that our can uh, reason of buying stuff for your game in game. Why would you do that? For <laughs> one, it makes it a little bit. To me, it kind of defeats the point of. Uh, it's kind of a loot-based. ARPG. It kind of destroys the purpose because, hey, we j I just found this cool loot, and then you know, just, oh yeah, I just bought that loot for a fiver at the auction house. You know what? The fuck you! Actually, did some work to get that bloody thing. I didn't just go and fucking buy it. For fuck's sake. Yeah, speaking of buying things, I actually bought this online from the uh, Diablo 3 site. 60 euros, and it took sure an entire day to load. You have a good heart yeah. Strong mind. That is Kid you not, it took an entire day to load. Mostly because, one, my... It seems that it kind of cut my connection speed to half, or it might be because they're wiring some fiber optic cables to the buildings in the area. Might be the thing that's causing the uh, speed, redu speed reduction. But still, yeah, that, my speed got cut in half to like 10 megs, it was like 5, when I started loading it. And then it, then the downloader program for the installer, it crashed like 3 times. Every time it managed to download at least 2.5 gigs of stuff. Yeah, 2.5 two and two and gigs, every 2.5 gigabytes, it just... Wham! It just died. Then I had to reset it. <laughs> Three times to actually manage to get the installer and then install the game. And then there was the issue with the uh, launch day. Oh, bloody hell. I was going to make a good, fast look of the game, but I couldn't because the, all the servers were full and... Yeah. I was actually very hopeful of it. I'm thinking about right now, I'm getting to the part of the video where I just completely slaughtered a pack of skeletons. At this point you can real, really clearly see why the uh, monk is, in my opinion, a very OP character, because he just pulverizes everyone. Yeah, he just pulverizes everyone. He has these martial arts skills, which is basically like a fucking kung fu movie on drugs. And, uh, yeah, he just completely wrecks everyone. Doesn't like, care, like, what was the total combo with? 54? Yeah, 54 creatures dead. Yeah, just, wow. I think my top is 90, 90 basic skeletons in the cathedral dungeon. No, it wasn't the cathedral dungeon, it was a crypt. Where I need to find the crown, ETC, so on and so on and so forth. Let's not put too many story spoilers in this, because most people most likely have not played it yet. But still! Yeah. Diablo 3, yeah, I just... For some reason, I'm having a very hard time actually liking it, because one, on normal difficulty, it's very easy. I'm hoping that I finished it once, and then I start hardcore characters. Or I guess in the uh, hardcore mode is already open because I hope no I need to reach level 10 yeah I need to reach level 10 before I can open the hardcore mode and then I might just go around playing with the other characters because right now it just feels too fucking easy in Diablo 3 no not Diablo 3 Diablo 2 was con yes <laughs> lack of sleep all right deal with it I'm slurring with my words I'm trying to be as coherent as possible. 
Yeah, in Diablo 2 I died multiple times. Mostly at the end boss, the uh, demon, the demon, demoness. What was the name again? I can't remember her name. The bitch that the big scorpion stinger giant tits bitch that was in the cathedral dungeon. What was her name? I can't fucking remember it. <laughs> um, that that kind of proves me what kind of a player I am. I just completely forget everything. Yeah, but I still figure out that Diablo 2 was it was a lot harder than this at the start as well. So you could just. Go in, start slaughtering those little car ramps and whatnot. And then you just get ambushed by a whole pack of these, and then they just all of them come around, backstab you, and you were like half health immediately if you didn't have decent armor. I was usually playing the uh, barbarian, which really wasn't kind of a problem because I just rage quit. Rage, what? What was it again? War cry or something? Just make them run away. <coughs> Cough. Sorry. Yeah, but that that uh, Diablo 2 is a lot harder game than this. Even when I. Uh, this sounds so bad. So it sounds kind of awful to admit. Even when I used the hacks to actually get myself a very OP character. Uh, uh, my hacks, I mean, in the one command line extension with the expansions that cause your character to uh, start at the uh, expansion rather than the uh, basic vanilla game, which kind of amped up its difficulty to the uh, l expected level cap of the game, and then just and just continue on it. Yeah, even w even when I was doing that, it was still. The end bosses, the bosses in the dungeon, the crew, the, yeah, the bitch in the dun, bitch in the cathedral dungeon. It was still pretty fucking hard, and even after that, on basic goddamn difficulty, mind officially blown. Because right now, even as I'm talking, I'm just massacring shit in the background, so you can clearly see I'm not. At the first two hours, I was like, okay, so I need to go there. Okay, just, oh, there's like 50 skeletons, okay. Just quick jabs a couple of times and the bloody awesome roundhouse kick Chuck Norris fucking style. Everyone is dead again. Yeah. OP characters, a little bit. No. The graphics are still good. Monk is a bit OP character for the starters, because Monk is something that I might actually recommend to someone who has actually wanted to test out this game without it being... I'm not sure if it's hard with the other characters at the start, but still... Ah, <sighs> this game, this game, I'm re... I'm... <laughs> I'm repeating what I just said, which is a really bad idea, because I'm not used to making commentary, so I'm just mostly like... used to just playing. It's the first time I actually want to speak my opinion of this. <sighs> Diablo 3, in my opinion, it's very good. It is good. It is, it is the third book, basically. Third in the trilogy. Hopefully the ending chapter. Because I like to know how the story ends. And what is the power within you that she spoke of? This fight was too easy. I want this game to be good. I really do. But to me, it's just... Just me. One last thing. Like I said, the monk was an OP character. It still didn't stop me from dying once. I put pressure on the word once. I died once, because my pacing was a little bit off, because Monk basically rejuvenates his spirit, the uh, glowy white pearly thing in the bottom there, in the bottom right, correction, yeah, bottom right, yeah, for those who don't know the directions, aka your basic card players. Okay, so, I ran out of spirit power, and then I got killed because none of my 
special powers worked. That was kind of annoying. It was the first time I died, mostly because of my own stupidity of just going around and, you know, going to the middle of a group and just beating stuff. Usually it works, unfortunately, when they decided to throw those three big bastards at you, they just, you know, fuck it. Yeah, okay, I, we know that you'll be going around killing stuff, here's three big bastards, GG, have fun. <sighs> okay. I'm guessing before I only <laughs> really talk over, f you know, 15 minutes of here. I'm thinking about me talking over 15 minutes. Yeah, it's closing to 16 minutes. Might take me a while to actually render this video and then hopefully post it to YouTube tomorrow. Yeah. Now, like I said, Diablo 3, I really want it to be good. But right now it just feels so mediocre and not very full of surprises. Not the great awe factor. <sighs> I really don't have anything else to say. I leave you stating your own opinions on stuff. Because most people are just stating their opinions on Diablo 3. I'm jumping in the bandwagon telling what I'm thinking about. Thinking about it. Yeah. For someone who is the generic Let's Player who has played Diablo 2, wanted to play Diablo because I never found an actual copy of it. Mostly because one of them was unfortunately taken from that local end of Moriarty store where I saw it. But I'm thinking about just playing Diablo 1. It's not going to just cut it because now it's a... Well, it's an old game to trying to get fucking work on Windows 7 or XP. <sighs> Diablo 2 I can play because it's compatible. Alright. That's it. I'm done with my Diablo 3 rant, which is very incoherent. I hope you managed to make some sense out of it. Yeah. Right now, I'm trying to get back to the uh, steady medication of painkillers because this headache is fucking killing me. Lack of sleep is a real bitch. Everyone knows it. Alright, so thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a comment. State your own. Feelings of the game, just try to be appropriate. Try to be appropriate, not just few five-year-olds just going. Are oh, you playing yourself when you're so gay when you play God? La 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 la. If someone actually do that, I'm seriously going to trace that fucker down and choke a bitch. Yeah. Okay. So thank you very much. Have a good one. Bye bye. Injuries.